I mentioned in a past video that the dinosaur packs from Jurassic World Evolution 2 are just not that great if you compare them to the dinosaur packs from Evolution 1. So in today's video I want to talk about possible future DLCs for the game. It appears that Frontier wants to make DLCs about early and late periods of the Mesozoic era. They had the early and late Cretaceous dinosaur packs. So if we follow that logic, the future DLCs would be early and late Jurassic and early and late Triassic. There's a problem here. While I was doing this video, I realized that some dinosaurs from the early and late Triassic and from the early Jurassic are just not interesting. The late Jurassic, however, is a little more interesting. We have several famous and popular dinosaurs from the late Jurassic. For example, the famous Brontosaurus or the Torvosaurus. If Frontier ever made a late Jurassic DLC, they could possibly add the Torvosaurus or the Brontosaurus. But when it comes to marine reptiles and pterosaurs, I couldn't find any interesting marine reptile or pterosaur. What if Frontier made future dinosaur DLC packs like they do in Planet Zoo? For example, a South America pack with... I mean, a quick parenthesis here. It appears that Frontier only acknowledges Argentina in South America because every dinosaur, dinosaur that we have in South America comes from Argentina. Brazil is home to several, several interesting dinosaurs. For example, we have, I'm Brazilian by the way, so here in my country we have a very gigantic dinosaur called the Uberaba Titan. It's, I think, one of the largest sauropods of Brazil. It's, it's, a just, it's, a, it's a gigantic dinosaur. We also have a possible spinosaur in Brazil called Oxalaya. It's not clear if it is a separate species or a junior synonym to the Spinosaurus. Frontier and Universal doesn't care if the dinosaur is invalid or not. For example, in Fallen Kingdom, they added the Stiggy Moloch, even though there's an ongoing debate if the Stiggy Moloch is either a juvenile Pachycephalosaur or a separate species. And Frontier added the Dracorex, which is another possible invalid dinosaur. And we have the Cractonsaurus. So if they added the Oshalaya, they can give us finally a Paleoacrid Spinosaurus. So then we can have both the movie Spinosaurus and the Paleoacrid Spinosaurus with the Oshalaya. Think about it, Frontier. Think about it. Also, Brazil is home to several beautiful and colorful pterosaurs. We, in the game, we already have the, the Tapajara, the Tropognathus, the Cyrodactylus, the Marodactylus. There are several. And we have like a thousand different pterosaurs. We have the Ahangera, Ahangera, Anyanguera. Here we call it Anyanguera. We have the Tupushuara, which is similar to the Tapajara, and the Tupendactylus. And the Tupendactylus is my favorite because it has a gigantic crest. Like the crest is just as big as the pterosaur. It's awesome. Also, I discovered recently that there's a, I think, the largest plesiosaur ever discovered was here in South America. I think it was in Argentina, if I'm not mistaken. It's called the Aristonectis. I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, this is a possible South America dinosaur DLC. Think about it, Frontier. Think about it. And also, we already know that in North America, there's like several hundred thousand different dinosaurs, but there are way more cooler animals in North America. For example, two of my favorite species of dinosaurs, the Sorophaganax and the Splitosaurus. Uh, an interesting pterosaur from North America is called the Radiodactylus. It's like the cooler pterosaur I couldn't find in North America for this pack. And for the marine reptile, 
There's the Plotosaurus, which is a gigantic mosasaur discovered in California. Africa, much like South America, is a paradise of gigantic and majestic dinosaurs. I couldn't pick a possible dinosaurs for an Africa Pack DLC, so here are four possible dinosaurs they could include in a pack. The Afrovenator, or the Eocarcaria, and the Jobaria, or the Paralititan. They're the coolest dinosaurs. For the pterosaur, I found the Cirrocopteryx, a pterosaur that was discovered in Morocco. And for the marine reptile, the Brachokinius, also discovered in Morocco. Europe is also home to several different and exotic dinosaurs. For example, the sauropod Ampelosaurus, which is... The, the Ampelosaurus has these like osteoderms and spikes on its back, it's super interesting. Uh, the Neovenator, an interesting carnivore. The Hatsegopteryx, one of the largest pterosaurs ever discovered, was found in Europe. And the Prognathodon, also one of the largest mosasaurs ever discovered. The Asian dinosaurs and marine reptiles and pterosaurs are kind of... I mean, I don't know. They're kind of weird. For the Asia pack, we have the Yamatosaurus, a dinosaur from Japan. The Guanlong. We, I love the Guanlong. For the Asian pterosaur, we have the, sorry if I mispronounce it, Jejiangopterus. I think that's how you pronounce it. Jejiangopterus. I'm not sure. And for the marine reptile, the Futabasaurus, discovered in Fukushima, Japan. This is a, just a video of possible DLCs and possible dinosaurs and marine reptiles and pterosaurs that can be included into the game. I would love to have a South America pack. This is all for today, guys. Until next time.